Now we have this Python script and essentially what we want to do is we want to be able to Python 3 Ackerman Pi to run this, but we have passwords not defined. Fantastic, because it's in here. Now let's put it in here. Does this solve our problem? We have, okay, why do we have errors? That would be maybe interesting. How can we get the error message in Python? Zero idea. So this seems to be like the part we need. Maybe we need to import all this as well. Not sure which one we actually require. Oh, maybe, you know what? Maybe we need to run this with Python 2. It makes zero sense because, yeah, I mean, okay, first of all, Let's run this all without any inputs, just plain Python. And then we have s rent not defined. All right. Do we really use QS rent in here? We're doing some software engineering, Urman software engineering. It's really called QS rent. So let's just Google this error like a real programmer would do. Okay. That was completely wrong. Let's run this again. We have this error message. Okay. So this doesn't work in this one. So we have to use control shift C instead of my usual code copy pasting method and now we post this in here okay and then i think we need to hyphen dependencies maybe we need to download qt or something like that this one no okay i don't know why it doesn't find this weird qs friend and maybe let's look for Python 3 downloads oh i mean what the hell why doesn't this error message return anything useful i mean isn't it like with single quotes, you tell YouTube, Google that it's required to find the thing. Sometimes weird stuff is happening. But yeah, I have still zero idea why this doesn't seem to be working. So it looks like we need this Q rent function or QS rent is not defined. You know what? Maybe if we do this, just print it, we'll get an error message before the other one, which will be more helpful. Perfect. Now, queue time is not defined. So now we can type in Python, Python, Python 3. And why? I mean, okay, you know what? Maybe it's double quotes and not single quotes. But I'm pretty sure that when you do a double quote on Google, it looks for an exact match. Okay, you know what? What do we use here? Pi si, si, I mean, maybe we need to install a dependency. So let's just take a quick glance at the walkthrough. I know a forbidden walkthrough, but I just want to get this file up and running and I don't want to like spend ages doing this. I mean, maybe let's try this and then just install PySci2. No matching, no, what, why can I install the simplest things? All right, that's, that's the wrong Firefox. We need this one. So Python 3, install site qt4 how do i do is it just pi site i mean it doesn't seem to have issues with pi site right okay it has errors i mean i doubt that this is the problem and i doubt that it did something maybe we have to maybe it's case sensitive no so how do i install pi, qt core pi site how do i install this stuff i mean it can't be that hard come on five and three all right here we have it pi site two pip install okay it's case sensitive but it didn't find anything maybe i have to specify that we want to use pip three you know what you're right let's do a single up upgrade why yeah. I mean, we have Python 10, maybe 3.10, maybe that's the issue. I mean, this doesn't make sense. This, this makes no sense. Pip can find by side. Maybe we need like a pip upgrade, pip date, something like that. All right. Okay. So apparently, according to this one, if we check the PyP page, whatever this has to do with that, it's the thingy thing. There is no support. Or 5.3.10. Why? Or even on 11. Where's my pwn box? No, not the VPN pwn box. Let's... Maybe the pwn box comes with the correct Python version installed. Maybe my Kali, v... my Kali VM is just too up to date for this entire thing. So you can't see it because my face is in the way. But we're starting a VM <laughs> inside a VM. Oh, where is my mouse? Okay, you can't even see the mouse inside the VM of the VM. That's fantastic. Python 3.7. Okay, we have 3.9. Is this still... What's the other one? You can go away. 3.9. 
So, okay, so we have pip install i side 2. Okay, so here it seems to be working. So let's just copy this thing and go inside our VM in the VM. Do we have VS Code here? I don't think so. Programming? Well, we haven't. Fantastic. Let's go with dark modern. Okay, let's open a folder. We're just gonna open our home. As I trust the authors, let's create a new folder in here. Let's call it hack the box vessel. Let's create a file in here. Let's call it hacker pi. Fantastic. Can we paste directly? Of course not. It's on the Python extension. I don't care. Then we copy this one and we paste it in here. Boom. Now, if everything is working fine, this one is installed. Now here, let's open up a new terminal. Let's save whatever this is, and let's run Python 3 Hacker Man. Fine. Okay, that's correct. We are in the. Why is it in the burp suite thingy? What? That makes no sense. We have to hack the box vessel. Yes, move it to there. What the hell? And we are going to hack the box vessel, and then we still haven't installed it somehow. Okay, sudo pip really install I side. Okay, successfully installed. You can barely read it, but why can't I zoom in here? Okay, so now you should be able to read at least some of it. Okay, so this is getting way out of hand with this VM inception thing. Okay, but we have in successfully installed PySite 2, right? Okay, so why? Maybe I do have to make it a little bit smaller, but still so that you can read it. So explain to me why when I run this command. Okay, now we're now now we're getting something. Now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> okay, so how do I upload the file to this machine? We do this. Find a server eight thousand, and then okay, maybe not in here. Maybe we just go into the notes and here we open it. And now we do a w get, and we have a ten. Oh no, 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 no. 10.10.14.100 slash notes. So why is this method not allowed? I forgot the 8000. Okay, I can't do it. This is a problem. How am I supposed to upload my file in here then? Wait, does my pwn box have the same IP as my VM? Oh, we crap. Yes, it does. Now that's gonna be complicated. So, because I can't just copy paste like the file. Uh, maybe I what I can do is add notes.pdf into a base 64 then get this copy it go to the vm copy this and echo command okay which apparently crashes my terminal so let's stop it in here and let's do it in the correct one i mean i'm pretty sure we're missing like half of the base 64 string why is the copy pasting also a pain no nothing base 64 e and then into a notes the pdf or this should have done something so we will open a file browser explorer and I just say we should open this one find in folder no not find a folder in here and now we have a pdf and if everything worked out correctly with my copy paste fun thing yes it's asking us for a password. All right, now, how do we continue? We, we've got the bare essentials ready. We've had to do a workaround by using a completely different VM because my VM is too up to date for this challenge, apparently. And I'm not going through the pain of manually installing Python 3.7 or something like that. But this means we have now everything that we need to perform this tag and we have to try something type open password protected pdf all right let's go with pike pdf now we have to find the correct thing <laughs> no copy pasting has to be tedious and made only possible through something like this because why else all right now do we know when this file was created that's that's a pain we, we could go back to the server, but then we have to hack into the server from the ground up again, which I really don't like. So maybe we'll just, and we have two options. One, we check out the older video, which we did, which we possibly have the date when it was created. Or two, we check it out in solutions, so we don't have to do it by hand again. Oh, actually, no, we're, I'm stupid, sorry. So it just returns, oh my 
Oh my God, this this algorithm is even worse than I originally thought. So apparently this password in the current time doesn't get the actual current time, but rather just something between one and thousand. Okay, maybe did we get something else in here? Why do I always close it? I mean, we're almost there. I don't care about the privilege escalation right now. I just want to check out if... Okay, yeah, so my idea was correct, Tomondo, which means we go now in here and we do the following. 4x in range, I think it's 1000. Now, everything that's in here, we do it like that. If it's possible to read the number of pages, then we have the correct password. Now, to try this with every seed, we need to try it with one or zero to thousand. Maybe that's the correct solution. All right, let's try it. You know what? Let's just run it. Okay, sorry. You need to install Pike PDF. Sudo pdf really install Pike PDF. Please tell me that this exists. Okay, invalid password. Can I not just Okay, I have to try. Okay, let's do it with a try because why not? Do I need an accept in Python? Accept and then do nothing. Okay, can this work out? Okay, we need something. Print. Let's just print empty. And here we just exit out of the software so we don't try any funny things. Apparently nothing worked. So what am I doing wrong? Do I have to specify 1 to 1000? Okay, let's do a 1 to 1000. Can I? Tell it to do nothing in the except continue life hack. Okay, we don't find it. So maybe something in here is wrong. Let's check this code out. Okay, we have four rent char set idx. Maybe we try just the brain. Okay, so what doesn't work here? I mean, the length is 32. Let's check it here. Length is 32. Oh, maybe I have to put this into a list comprehension thingy. So let's do a list. Maybe the list thing will actually help out. Nope, nothing can help out here. 